man named Enora. Enora and her people lived in a rainforest filled with wonderful food, delicious fruit hung on the trees, and the rivers were full of fish. Each day, Anora and his family would feast on tropical foods and swim in the river near their camp. Above them, they could see flocks of birds with their black and white and grey feathers. They dived and called as they flew through the trees. One day, while he was swimming in the river with his friends, Enora saw a flickering flash of colour, shimmering and moving amongst the trees. Quickly he climbed onto the bank and crept quietly towards the place where he had seen the colours. His friends called him to come back, but Enora ignored their cries and followed the colours as they danced from tree to branch to rock and into the forest. The sun was setting as Honora reached a clearing in the forest. Suddenly the air was filled with the sound of bird calls. Honora looked around and saw emus, cassowaries, scrub hens and lyrebirds standing amongst the trees whose branches were full of parrots. Quickly as the noise began, it ceased. The glittering, shimmering colours reappeared and moved into the middle of the clearing. Anora watched and waited. Slowly the colours folded and flowed over and around the birds. As the colours touched each bird, its feathers began to glow with colour. Soon it grew dark and Honora knew he must return to the camp. As he stole away, he stumbled noisily over a stone. Immediately the forest came alive with the sound of birds flapping their wings and shrieking. Honora rushed from the clearing in fright. When Honora reached the camp, he found his family worried and angry. He tried to tell them what he had seen, but no one would listen. They don't believe me, he thought. Tomorrow I'll go to the clearing and bring back something to prove I'm telling the truth. That night, Honora dreamt of the glowing colours flowing over the earth and himself soaring through the air. sun rose, Honora took a stick and slipped quietly into the rainforest. Before long he had reached the clearing. Honora watched and waited. With shrieks and calls, the birds gathered once more. Once again the colours appeared. Before long they came towards a tall thin bird standing close to where Honora was hidden. Anora raised his stick and hit the bird on the neck. The bird lay dead on the ground. 
Leonora rushed forward, seized the dead bird and ran into the forest. When Leonora reached the camp, he ran straight to his mother, calling to her that he had proof of what he had seen. At first she was angry to learn that he had returned to the clearing, but when she looked down at the bird in his hands, she began to cry. Anora had killed a crane. As he placed the bird on the ground, Anora noticed that the feathers were growing out of his hands. He tried to pull them out, but they were stuck fast. That night, Anora drank once more of the glowing colours and of himself soaring through the air. When he awoke the next day, his whole body was covered with small feathers. Anora knew he'd have to return to the clearing. When he arrived, the bird silently made space for him. For the last time, the colours appeared and flowed over the birds. Before long, Anora was surrounded by the birds with feathers of every colour.